to another video. Today, I am going to show you my new team that I have come up with, and that is the Mix Max. Here. These guys are not terrorizers, or excuse me, Predacons, nor they are not Maximals. They have their own team name, Mix Max. They have the same reason of they have the same goal of the Predacons, and that's getting the all spark the all spark. And yeah, I even need my own all spark for the most part. But yeah. This guy's name well honestly I'm gonna call him Artemis. I didn't really give him a name, but he was he, he was actually different. He didn't have a beast mode, but yeah, I'm on that later. Artemis is a intergalactic mortal. Well, he was mortal before, but now he's immortal. What I mean is that he's once a powerful being, a being who actually made the Kinect sets. Quote unquote, this is just the lore. And, uh,. Yeah, he's the reason why all Transformers are now like this unkillable, quote-unquote, life form. But yeah, he's the... But then he becomes evil, blah, 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 and now he's this thing. So his transformation's a little weird. So I want to pull down his arms like this. Like that. And you would think this would be the head for the beast mode as... For the robot mode because it's like the beast mode head but no actually it's a separate animal head and that's how you use transformation uh the main head's actually the part of the tail the end part of the tail you want to put that right there and then you want to put the ends of the tail like that or you could just leave it like that So, instead of me creating the beings, or like, quote-unquote, the R-Spark, uh, he creates his own team, and, yeah. He actually is a partner, but I don't have him right now, so... I'll show you a little later. But, yeah, Artemis right here is a weird-looking scorpion, and I probably should have said that he was in his beast mode, but that's fine. Now, to show him his team. First off, the second in commands, and actually I forgot to pronounce, uh, there is actually three reasons, three people there have to be on the team, and that's the big one, the small one, and the poundest one. And that's this guy. His name is Rock Boulders, and he's a bulky crocodile, or a dragon with no wings, I guess. Either or, it's a rock creature in the stone thing. Speaking of that, uh, all of the characters have one piece that has, like, indifference of, uh, the normal piece. So this, uh, so this piece, like, this part of the arm is actually an element. The other ones don't have it because, you know... They weren't made with the elemental powers. And also, they're called Mix Max because, like, look at his legs. They're Mix Max. They're made from different parts. They're like Frankenstein's fused. Instead of just like, oh, you have the same color. Like, uh, for example, uh, Croc or Croco Pin or whatever. Has the same kind of color parts. Uh, mi the Mix Maxes don't. They also can control elements. So yeah. Lots of lore to these guys. And just. Oh. Have a beast mode. And robot. Blah blah blah. Probably on the Maximal and Predagon team. So. Big influence. I wish. I wish there was like a team in Transformers. And also I'm just going to transform it. Uh, I wish there was, like, a team of Transformers that, like, aren't engaged with the Decepticons or Autobots, but then, like, are fight both teams. 
and uh, probably want the All Spark too, or maybe they're good guys, but they're not like they don't see the Autobots as good guys. Something like that. That would have that would be cool having a different actual team that doesn't work with the uh, main teams become a thing. And yeah, so this is Boulders in Rock Robot mode. Why did I say Rock? Uh, this channel's long, and it's basically just like standing up, except its legs are inserted into feet. So that's a little weird. Now it's weirder. Okay, here's the weirdest part. Eh. This right here, his name is Stickbug. Stickbug right here has an elemental firepower. That's the firepower. Kind of like a one of those hot sticks. Uh, right there. Kind of like that, honestly. I also gave him a uh, half dark, half green face, representing how uh, he could have where uh, he's kind of like that weird cat that has like different colored eyes, except besides the eyes, it's also like the mouth. But, yeah, he's also flimsy and is very flimsy and long. Now to go to his robot mode. His robot mode's pretty easy to do. You just have to, like, pull down the arms. It's pretty hard to do that because this piece, this part of the piece, kind of blocks it. And the legs aren't that long or something. And then you have to just, like, take off the head... Put one of the eyes, and then you want to enter the four, the first part of the pincer, which is this, and pull it back, and then it's pretty tall, so oh, wait, and then pull it back like that. I think he has the same legs as Megatron. My Megatron. Yeah, he has the same legs as Megatron. Long, spindly, and yeah. So this is Stickbug, and boy, he's a long boy. I think he's like almost the size of Behemoth if he could stand. But yeah, that is Stickbug. Wow, I can't get the image. Now for the smaller one, he's pretty medium sized, kind of my personal favorite, and that is Barracuda with legs. That's all he really is. I was thinking of a shark theme, but I think it's more Barracuda-like than a shark. I mean, with the added arms. And actually, I made a creature kind of like this, but smaller. He also has an easy transformation. Uh, you want to flip up the feet like you normally do with the other transform the transformers that have these this type of feet. Then you want to take off his back fins, flip them up, and like that. You want to take off his tail and then split it to two. This is his uh, personal. A uh, weapon that's in the shape of spatula. And this is his axe weapon. Then what I like to do is switch the mouth and set it to that side. There we go. And then flip up the head. Stand him up. And then you've got Barracuda in robot mode. Barracuda in robot mode is the smallest mixed max, but uh, not the smallest transformer. It's pretty big. Also, uh, fun fact, he actually eats people, transformers. That's why he has a giant spatula hand. He doesn't eat robotic fish, though. I don't know what that is, but, uh, next up, pretty much the only Liar, I think all I think also uh just realized that all three teams at least has two or one flyer, like main flyer. Uh with the Predacons, it's 
ding and dong and ants thing. The Maximals, well, I think like half of them fly. And with the Mix Max, it is Hydro. Hydro has an elemental power of a Hydra. Or the poisonous toxins. Hence the green poison part. He also has the elemental powers of Purple Rock Max. Hence this head. Hydro is a mix and uh, that's why these parts are made from different pieces for the most part. And that's why the legs are also different. So Hydro is pretty easy to transform. First you want to switch out this green piece with the lighter green piece. Because that's his like main weapon. Then you want to take off the head, put it on the wing like that. And you could either leave it like that or you could form it like a fist. I like to do it like this, but you could do it like that too. Uh, you want to take off the tail and put it to the side. Like that. You want to take off the same head or different head. And you want to put it like you did with the other side. You want to change this leg and you want to do a Bronto smash where you have to switch it and split it up like that. Then you have to flip up the main head and go along your day. If yeah, I could stand him, well, none of them can fit on the camera without me moving. Uh, and that is Hydro. Hydro has the biggest arms. One of the biggest. In fact, I think it's bigger than Bronto Bash's. I think it's literally just Ant Thing's arms with, uh, head pieces on it. Yeah, literally it's just that. Hydro is not the tallest one. In fact, uh, the Mix Mac also have a tallest one, but... So this right here, and I started with robot mode, but that's fine, is Bug Dragon, or Bug Dragon, if you will. He is a fusion of Bug, a dragon, you'll see in a robot mode, and a fish for some reason. He's pretty tall, normally. I think he's like the size of Behemoth. I think a little taller, because of the orange pieces. But yeah. Like the other behemoths, he can't stand. Oh, yeah. Weapon storage is that giant mace looking thing and his bug arm. Uh, since we started with robot mode, let's go into beast mode. What you want to do is take off the head, like so. And then you want to put it on this cyclops looking head. Like so. You want to take off the mace, and it actually is a tail, so you want to put it like that. Flimsy legs, switch the wings with the arms, like that, and then do that on the same side, also like that. And then you've got a fusion monstrosity. This is Bug Grin. Bug Grin is massive and probably has the biggest beast mode, I think. Minus the fusions, but yeah, he's pretty big for his beast mode. Uh, I think he's made I think the reason why he's so big is because of these parts of his legs and his neck, so and the tail. So he's pretty long, he's pretty big, and also has the same thing like stick bug, uh, the multi eye. Thank you guys for watching the video. Like, subscribe, tell me what your favorite Mix Max is, and tell me if you want me to do a different generation. This might be my last time you get to this might be the last time you get to see these characters and you get to see new characters. So with that, I'll see you guys later. Dab, but you can't see. And I forgot to say, uh what is your favorite Mix Max on the team? And also what do you want me to create for the next generation? And that's it. With that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Banana out.